Morning guys, I just thought I'd show you what a 26 euro gets you in uh, Valencia these days. Look, I've got my own private room with a bunk bed in it and I slept on the bottom bunk as you can see. Uh, there was also a shared bathroom, I won't show you that, that's a bit weird. So I'm about to check out and uh, go and get some breakfast. Let's see what we can get in uh, Valencia for breakfast. Beautiful stained glass windows in this hostel. Hotel, hostel, hotel, more of a hotel. B&B. This place looks interesting. Let's see if we can get a good breakfast here. Oh, I've spotted over there, menu desayuno. Let's see what they've got. So I found this nice little place, Pantalan Cinco. Let's see if I get served within the next half an hour. That's uh, Spain for you. Fun times. One eternity later. Well, we're up to 10 minutes so far and still no service. Let's see if we get anything. Should be delicious, looks nice, the menu. Shame there's only one waitress, poor girl. Do no power, por favor. Ah, uh, solo, por favor. Gracias. 12 minutes in the end. So I thought I'd be all continental and get a cafe solo. It's basically an espresso. Nice and strong. Good stuff. Here we go, the main course has arrived. Look at this. Beautiful bit of toast with some salmon and avocado, a bit of tomato, cheese. Should be delicious, let's give it a try. Goat's cheese in it. Lovely and sweet with the soft texture, perfect. The only way I would improve this, I think, is if the avocado were mashed. Perfect, gracias. It comes with this uh, little orange juice as well. Valencia, very famous for its oranges, of course. Nice and fresh. What I do like about this is how it uh, mixes a traditional Spanish breakfast, which is basically just a bit of tomato and olive oil on toast. And they put on top of it as well some avocado, a bit of goat's cheese, salmon, a bit of rocket. Nice uh, blend of tradition and uh, a little bit of uh, the millennials with their um, avocado there as well. Beautiful. I was complaining about 12 minutes, these gentlemen here sat next to me. Uh, it's taken a little bit longer for them, maybe 20, 25 minutes. A poor girl, she's running around like a headless chicken, it's not her fault. <laughs> they need more stuff. Running a cafe like this. Hey, it's uh, not a cheap breakfast for Spain, 5 euro 50. Um, but they don't buy, uh, <laughs> they don't, uh, Put any more staff on their books, a bit disappointing. At least the food and drink was good though. Look, I finished it all up. Today's quick Spanish lesson. Baños, bathrooms, toilets. It means something like that. And armarios. This one means wardrobe. And uh, I always uh, remember this one because uh, when we learnt it in Spanish class when I was at school all those years ago, everybody uh, went, Ah Mario! because of uh, uh, Super Mario. Wardrobe, cupboard, closet, some of you might say in English. See this man up ahead on his mobility scooter? He just hit me as he walked past, he just barged through on the right. Not fun. Not fun for me. You expect people to overtake on the left in Europe, not on the right. Ouch, it hurt a little bit. Look at this. In Spain, they're very open. <laughs> Reproducción asistida. If you're looking for a reproduction clinic, somewhere to help you uh, conceive. <laughs> There's a sign in the street telling you where to go. Cool. There's a place called Crea, which means uh, create. Thanks to the signs, I found the reproduction clinic up ahead. 
But don't worry, I'm not going there. Okay, I want to try uh, some traditional orchate. It's kind of like this nutty drink, uh, famous in the region. So this is the place to try it, apparently. Orchateria de Santa Catalina. Let's uh, see if it's any good. Well, it's quite nice in here. Uh, shame, uh, there's a lot of noise outside. There's some roadworks on the main square on the Plaza de Santa Catalina. Um, but let's give it a try anyway, since we're here already. It's beautiful. Lovely decoration. Very traditional, I like it. So I've ordered a horchata, nice and traditional. Let's give it a try. Two ninety-five. Let's give it a try. Give me a little straw as well, I'm made of paper. Oh, I hate these paper straws. Always goes soggy. I love it. I think I think I had it once before, but I didn't remember it. So, what what is it made of? Oh, it's nice. It's, it's amazing how they make it so smooth as well. Muy suave, no? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I really like it. It's good. And this is the famous place to try it. Yeah. Yeah, I love the decoration. It's nice. Should I try some of the snacks as well? Are they... Este. Vale. Uno de esto, por favor. Gracias. You dip it in, in the horchata. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I must do this then. I'm from London. How about you? You're Valencian? Yeah. I'm from, uh, near Valencia. I'm from Ukraine. Ah, Ukraina. Oh, gracias. Is this, is this correct? Mas. Mas. Pongo mas. Per, pero no para que salga. Not too much, because it's from Valencia. Si no, uh, la inundación, no? <laughs> bueno, muchas gracias. Adiós. This is why you should always get talking to the locals. If I hadn't just uh, struck up a conversation with these people, I never would have known to try this parton with it. Oh, it's very nice. I'm not sure this is just a long pastry, basically. Um, yeah, it's quite flavorful. I like it. Can't be particularly hard. I think it was healthier, just the, <laughs> just the drink, without the parton as well. Great name as well, parton. There's your far tom. Delicious, made from tiger nuts, like she was saying. So hopefully it's full of protein. Okay, that was nice. Three euro fifty, not bad at all. To try a local delicacy. They said I wasn't allowed to go and film them making it. Um, so yeah, to see them making it, you have to go and have a look yourself. Oh wow, look at this part of town. We're in the old town. Didn't expect to see it looking quite like this. These beautiful uh, old buildings with their balconies. I love Valencia. Seems to be a lot of works going on at the moment. Getting ready for when all the tourists flock back, I guess. Here's the locha. Big building with gargoyles on it, you might be able to see up there.
Fietsvoer. Bike rental. Not sure why it's written in Dutch, but it is. Now, this is one of my favourite squares in the whole of Spain. It's uh, Plaza de la Virgen, Square of the Virgin. And see, we got some cathedrals and uh, basilica here. And also the seat of the local government. Nice tower up here. You can climb that, get some great views of the city. Done that before. And what I really like is there's uh, these trees over here which uh, grow oranges. So it's kind of like a, it's a lovely square for the senses. You can taste the oranges, you can uh, touch the water from the fountain. You can smell the food from the restaurants. It's uh, a really nice place to be. And you've got this cute little park over here. Okay, this place has got quite a funny name, I'll tell you. All right, Boyeria is uh, where you might go to get your, uh, <laughs> where you might go to get your pastries in the morning. And this is called La Boyeria. Uh, they've changed the B to a P and now it means it's the place where you go to get your dicks, your dildos. As you can see from the little logo here as well, quite fun. They're asking you even though it's a, a dildo shop, to please respect uh, the, the um, security distance, to respect social distancing. Great film. Seems like it's not open at the moment for obvious reasons. The swinging scene must be taking a break in Valencia. Let's have a look in this garden then. One of the oranges has fallen off the tree and the ants are enjoying it before the humans can. How exciting. Okay, now I thought, uh, I was thinking why are there not more people sat in this park and now I realise why. The, look at the bench, it's a bit small. Not particularly comfortable with this back on it either. But a lovely place to just sit and uh, relax nonetheless. I just learned something new. Did you know that Valencia was the capital of Spain <laughs> during the Second Spanish Republic from 1936 to 1937? during the Spanish Civil War. And that this building here was the seat of the Ministry for Health and Social Security. So yeah, Valencia, once the capital of Spain, or at least kind of.